Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable reserved storage in Windows in case you need to do that for some reason. So for most people you don't have a need to do this, but let's say you're the type of person who likes to be in control of everything or wants to get every you know megabyte of space you can out of your drive, you could actually do this if you want. All right, so we have a definition of reserved storage here that we're going to go over real quick. So reserved storage in Windows is a feature designed to ensure that your device has enough disk space for critical system functions such as updates, temporary files, and system caches. By setting aside a portion of your storage, Windows can maintain system stability and performance, especially when disk space is low. This helps prevent issues like failed updates or system slowdowns due to insufficient space. So you can see after reading that that it's kind of important to keep this on, but like I said, if you have a reason to disable it, we're going to show you how to do it. Okay, so we're going to be using PowerShell to do this. You could also do it through a command prompt, but of course the commands are different. And then if you want to do it via a registry file, so if you want to do it to multiple computers, this might be a quicker way to do it. So we have one to disable it. So here's what it does. And then to enable it, that's what that does. So I'll include a link in the description where you can download these two files here if you want to do that. Okay, so first we're going to see if it's enabled or disabled by running this command. So I'll copy this. We'll open up PowerShell as administrator. Okay, so right now it's enabled. So to disable it, we're going to run this command here. Set Windows Reserve Storage State then dash state disabled, so I'll copy that, paste this in. So you might get this error depending on what's going on. If you have some pending Windows updates or something is using this space. So just keep that in mind. So you might have to come back and try it again later or reboot. So we're going to reboot and then we'll try it again. All right, let's open PowerShell again. Okay, so now you can see we have it disabled. And if we go to the Windows settings, under system and storage, then under the C drive, click on show more categories. Click on System and Reserved. We don't have anything showing reserved storage here. All right, so we're gonna enable it and then come back here. So we're gonna run this command. All right, so now it's enabled. Now you can see we have six and a half gigabytes of reserve storage. So that's how you find it in the first place. And you could also come here to see if it's enabled if you don't want to run that first command that we did right here. All right, so that is how you disable reserve storage and also how you enable it. So I'll put these commands in the description as well. And then if you need to disable reserve storage, now you know how to do it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.